Hello, welcome to Psych 7709. This is the, the Lab for Stats class, uh, Stats 1 this semester, fall 2020. Uh, this little video is about getting you up and running with installing R and RStudio. We'll be using this software throughout this semester. First thing to note, if you run into problems and you can't get these uh, things installed on your computer, send me an email and we'll figure out uh, how to resolve these issues. Okay, let's start with R. So I went and opened a tab. I typed in R to Google. You find the R website, rproject.org. Let's just go there. So we'll do all this in real time. Uh, I'm gonna click the download R link. Now we see lots of different options. This is CRAN mirrors. These are different places you could download R from. I'm just gonna go down to the US and click on the Indiana University link. It doesn't really matter which one you choose probably. And here you can download R for your operating system. So I'm on a Mac, here we go. This is the latest release. I'm just gonna get this one and we're downloading it. And this takes, I don't know, not too long. And there we have it. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder where this downloaded to, here it is. And I'm going to install this by double clicking it. And did that, nope, let's double click it again. There we go. Continue through all these things. Yes, all right. So if you're on Windows, the process will be slightly different. The main thing you wanna do is make sure that you've installed the program onto your local hard drive. And if you're on a Mac, the process will look something like this. Okay, so I'm going to uh, actually just hold on a second here on a Mac uh, to be, is the installer, no, we, we don't see the installer anywhere, that's fine. I do want to trash this, it's asking if I wanna delete this uh, file and I'm going to do that. Okay, so just to double check if we've installed R, I'm gonna to go to applications, scroll down and find R, it's right here. We can try running it and double click it and we're looking at uh, an R console right now. Uh, just fair warning, we won't be using this version of the R console throughout the class. We'll, we're gonna be using something called RStudio. We're gonna download that next. It's very important that you make sure that you've downloaded R first before downloading RStudio. So I'm just gonna close that. Okay, so next we want to download our studio. And you can just type that in or follow the links from the getting started page. Here's the our studio website. We want to go to products, find our studio, and then we're going to download our studio's desktop. And we can do that right here. And again, you get to choose, uh, keep clicking through these things and you gotta choose the one that would work for your operating system. So I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna get this one here. We're gonna download that. Doesn't take too long. And again, this will be in the downloads folder. So let's go there. Here it is. So I'm going to double click this. And in this case, uh, Let's see what's actually happened here. We've loaded up a virtual drive called RStudio. That's what we're looking at. Th these are the same locations on my computer. It's asking us to take the program, drag it onto the applications folder. I already had a version there, so I've now replaced it with the new one. Now I'm gonna close this. No, it's important on a Mac that you eject this temporary drive. You don't want to be running the program off of this tem temporary drive, so let's eject that. Great. Now we should be able to go to applications, scroll down, 
and find our studio. Here it is. Okay, so let's load it up, see what happens. Yes, I want to run this program. Okay, so here we have our studio and we're going to do a couple little things next to verify that it's working. All right, let's check that our studio is working. First of all, if you've correctly installed R or successfully installed R and then our studio, you should see uh, this console message when you load up our studio. And when it says R version, you can see that uh, the version number that you've installed. If you don't have R on your machine, you won't see this. So this is telling you that it's working. You could quickly try to do something like um, type one plus one and press return. So you can use R, the R console like at calculator. The next thing I want to point out is that uh, we're looking here at my file system and we're starting in my home directory. Uh, as we move forward in the course, I want you to think about how you're organizing files and folders on your computer. So for example, I use my desktop to put lots of random stuff. I use this folder, GitHub, to put folders that are for different projects that I'm working on. I don't know how you organize things. Um, maybe I would do something like, for example, I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it stats class. Here it is, stats class. And let's say I was going to work in this folder for the rest of the semester. Um, it's good to make a folder. You know where it is and uh, we can keep coming back to it. Okay. So there's two things that I want you to do to check that our studio is working. The first thing is to make a new project. So you can go up to the right hand corner, click new project. And we're going to put this into a new directory. Say new project. And we're going to this is when we finish doing this, we're going to basically create a new folder somewhere. Now I already made a folder called stats class. So um, let's make let's put our new uh, test project into that folder. So we go and find stats class. Okay, so we're now making a new project inside of the stats class folder. And then click to create. All right. So now we have a folder called stats class in the home directory. And inside of that folder, we have another one called test. If I was to look at my finder just quickly to see that, you can see there's stats class and there's a test folder right here. And there's a test.rproj file. Okay. I'm just going to quickly close our studio and demonstrate something. If you know where your folder and file are, you can double click this cube file and it will automatically load our studio for you. And we are now working inside of this project. Okay. The next thing I want you to do is determine whether or not you can compile what's called an R markdown document. We'll be going through this in great detail throughout the rest of the course. In order to do this, go up to the top left hand corner, choose the R markdown document. And if this is the first time you've loaded R and our studio onto your computer, you'll probably see the spinning wheel. You want to make sure you're connected to the internet when you do this. What's about to happen is you're going to be downloading some libraries and additional packages that allow you to
to use our markdown. So I'm just going to say yes here, that I do want to install all of these new things. And uh, let's see how long this takes. You're getting some idea here of what will happen to you when you try to do these things. Um, I guess I could just wipe this off and say, while we're waiting, make it obvious that we're now doing some stuff with our markdown. Okay. So it installed all the packages and it's brought up this new window here asking us if we want to create a new R Markdown document. And yes, we do. I'm going to just uh, leave the title as untitled and I'm going to press OK. And what happens now is we load up a document in the top left hand corner. This is the editor window. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so we can scroll down and look at it. This is the document. It's a simple text document and it contains some information, metadata about the document, the title, the author, the, the date, and it contains regular text and also the grayed out areas we'll learn is R code. Now to find out if your system is working properly, you can click the knit button and what will this do? Well, first it's going to ask us to save this document. And it because we made an R project, we're, it's going to save this automatically in the project location we're working in, which is the test folder. So I'm going to press save. Great. Now, uh, what has happened here is we've compiled the R Markdown text document into a website and it contains our text, some headers, a title, R code, output from the R code, and even figures. And we'll be using these kinds of documents throughout the rest of the course. So the question is, can you make a new R Markdown document, save it to your project, press the knit button, and view this website? If you've done all those things, you've completed the first part of this getting started uh, process. And one more thing, well, we'll do this later. Actually, we'll just do it right now, why not? Uh, it's possible to view, instead of having this website that you made uh, pop up like we just saw, we can have it load in the viewer here that's a setting. We'll be learning a lot about other kinds of settings. And let's see if we can go find where that is in our studio. All right, to find this setting, go to Tools, Global Options, then find our Markdown. And here we have an option to change where the output preview is displayed. This is currently in a new window. And if we can change that to the viewer pane, press OK. Now it'll show up here. And this is kind of handy because you can see your document side by side. For example, we'll knit this and then we can see the document in here and get a quick look at it without seeing the pop-up window. All right, so that's all for uh, this getting started. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is talking about GitHub, because we're going to get each of you a free github.com account if you don't already have one. So stay tuned for the next video.